the state anthem of the Soviet Union. Russian, Gosudarstvenij Gim Sovetskogo Suza Tr. Gosudarstvenij Gimn Sovetskogo Soyaza, IPA, S. Dars TV Njimn Svi et Sko S. Jews, also unofficially known as Slavesia, Otechistvo Nash Svobodnoi. Russian, Slavsa Otesistvo Nash Svobodno Lit. Be Glorious, Our Free Motherland was the official national anthem of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics and the state anthem of the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic from 1944 to 1991, replacing the Internationale. The lyrics were written by Sergei Mikhalkov (1913–2009) in collaboration with Gabriel L. Registan (1899–1945), and the music was composed by Alexander Alexandrov (1883–1946). Although the Soviet Union was dissolved in 1991, the melody of its national anthem continues to be used in the Russian Federation's national anthem, which has different lyrics from the version used in the Soviet Union. History Origins <inaudible> 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 The music was originally composed by Alexander Alexandrov around 1938 for the hymn of the Bolshevik Party. The opening bars of this song were sampled from one of Alexandrov's previous pieces, Life Has Become Better. This song was based off a quote said by former Soviet Union General Secretary Joseph Stalin at the first all-Union meeting of the Stakhanovites on November 17, 1935. The manner of this song alludes to Stalin's cult of personality. When the Communist International was dissolved in 1943 in order for the Soviet Union to maintain its alliance with the other allies of World War II, a new musical piece was needed to replace the Internationale as the national anthem. A contest was held in mid to late 1943 for a new anthem to be selected, with more than 200 submitted entries. Alexandrov's music was chosen by Stalin personally, who both praised and criticized the song. Once the song was selected, new lyrics had to be written. Stalin thought that the hymn to be short, and that it had to invoke the Red Army's impending victory over the forces of Germany on the Eastern Front. The poets Sergei Mikhalkov and Gabriel L. Registan were selected to write new lyrics by Stalin's staffers, and were called to Moscow. They were tasked with writing new lyrics which referenced not only the Great Patriotic War, but also, a country of Soviets. The first draft of the lyrics were completed overnight. Stalin had suggested more lyrics be made about himself, and so an extra line was added making reference to Stalin inspiring the people. The anthem was first published on 7 November 1943, was played for the first time on Soviet radio at midnight on 1 January 1944 and was officially adopted on 15 March the same year. The newly created lyrics had three different refrains following three different stanzas. In each refrain, the second line was consequently modified with references to friendship, then happiness, and finally to glory. Joseph Stalin and the Soviet Union's war against Germany were originally invoked in the second and third verses, respectively. Topic: <laughs> Post-Stalin era. With the process of destalinization after Stalin's death, the lyrics referring to him were considered unacceptable, and from 1953 to 1977 the anthem was performed without lyrics. A notable exception took place at the 1976 Canada Cup ice hockey tournament, where singer Roger Doucet insisted on performing the anthem with lyrics after consultations with Russian studies scholars from Université de Montréal and Soviet team officials. In 1977, to coincide with the 60th anniversary of the October Revolution, revised lyrics, earlier written in 1970 by original author Sergei Mikhalkov, were adopted. The varying refrains were replaced by a uniform refrain following all stanzas, the line praising Stalin was dropped, as were the lines referring to the Great Patriotic War. A notable change in the lyrics was the replacement of a line referencing the flag of the Soviet Union to one mentioning the Bolshevik Party in the form of Partia Lenina, the Party of Lenin. These lyrics were also present in the original Bolshevik Party anthem at the same location within the melody, followed by the lyrics, Partia Stalina, the Party of Stalin. Topic: <laughs> Post-1991 use. Topic: <laughs> Use in the Russian Federation. 
After the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, the Russian Federation adopted a new wordless anthem called the Patriotic Song, although there were suggestions for adopting lyrics. As a result, a few different versions were produced. In 2000, the current national anthem of Russia was introduced, which used the music of the Soviet national anthem and new lyrics written by Sergei Mikhalkov. Topic: <laughs> State Union of Russia and Belarus. Also, the same music was used for a proposal of the anthem of the State Union of Russia and Belarus entitled Dzhavny Soyuz Narodov, Union of Sovereign Nations. Although never officially adopted, the lyrics of that piece were not tied to any specific nationality, and could be adopted for a broader union. However, there appears to be no plans to utilize that piece in any official role. The anthem also had official versions in the languages of every Soviet republic and in several other Soviet languages. Decommunization In some post-Soviet states which adopted decommunization laws banning the communist symbolism, performing the Soviet anthem is illegal. For example, since 2015 in Ukraine the offenders face up to five years of prison. Similar laws were adopted in Latvia, and Lithuania. Official translations The anthem has been officially translated to several languages. Below is a list of authors of the translation of the anthem. Topic: <laughs> Sheet music of the translations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Soviet Socialist Republics. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republics. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Lyrics. <laughs> 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 Below is a set of tables containing the lyrics for the hymn. As there were two official versions of the lyrics one in 1944 and one in 1977 both are included within their own tables. <laughs> <laughs> Original lyrics <laughs> <laughs> Other translations International phonetic alphabet transcriptions Topic Media Topic See also God save the Tsar Grom Pobedi, Rozdavicia, Let the Thunder of Victory Sound National Anthem of Russia Patriotisheskaya Pesnya, Patriotic Song The Internationale Workers Marseillaise, Russian version of La Marseillaise National anthems of the Soviet Union and Union Republics Topic Notes Topic References Topic External links 20 most popular Soviet songs the author of Russian National Anthem, Sources of the USSR's Anthem in Russian By K. Kovalev, Eng. Bortniansky's Anthem, Kol Slavin, Eng. Vocal performance of the National Anthem of the Soviet Union with lyrics on YouTube As presented by Central Television in 1984 on YouTube Collection of the USSR Anthem in different languages <laughs>